The hits of music legends, the Beatles, will grace the Philippine stage once again through the voice of a well-known John Lennon tribute act. Javier Parisi tells us what we can expect from Imagine the Beatles Legacy Tour in its stops here in the Philippines. Hello, it's me. Is it? Yeah. Am I imagining? <laughs> it, it, it was me, John That's Lennon, me. and not Javier Parisi. Javier Parisi, yes, <laughs> it's me, from Argentina, Buenos Aires. Welcome to the Philippines, Javier. It's a pleasure, and it's, it's an honor. Um, I was looking for, forward to seeing you, and I'm here. Yes, you're yeah. here. Javier I'm Parisi, here. a.k.a. John Lennon. But how did this all come about, Javier, that you look like? Yeah. My God, a spitting image of John Lennon. Well, um, I'm going to tell a story um, fast. Yeah. I fell in love with the Beatles when I was eight years old. There was no resemblance at that time. So I started learning guitar and English language because of the Beatles. Mm -hmm. I'm from Argentina, we speak Spanish, Espanol. Yes, that's right. So um, the resemblance appeared when I was 17 years old. So. Uh, when I was 20 years old, I put a band together, mm -hmm. so that was my first tribute band. So I was doing John for more than 20 years now. 20 years now. Yeah. And I've seen you uh, wearing different John Lennon looks from the long hair to the yeah. short hair. This look that you are tonight, yeah. from which genre? of John Lennon's uh, career? Well, it's uh, the Imagine uh, era stage mm -hmm. when he was 31, 32 years old. Um, yes, and as you said before, I recreate John on different stages. Yes. The long hair, and when he was 25 years old, psychedelic and era, so yes. What and is I your favorite uh, stage? of uh, John Lennon's life. Of John Lennon, uh, this one. This is one? Yeah. The Imagine the, Era. The Imagine Era, yes. But, well, I had let my hair grow long, so I, I look like John with, uh, with the long, long hair. hair. Yeah. yeah. Even your eyes, yes. even the glasses that you wear. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and my I've mom never is Julia. My mom is Julia as well as Julia. John's mother. Yes. And how did you get yourself endorsed by the Lennon family and his inner circle? Have you met them personally? Have you been able to have dinner, a lunch? Have you been able to meet them? It was amazing. And in 2018, mm. I bought a leather cap that was made by a John Lennon designer. She is Helen Anderson. She, she's a close friend of John since our school days. So, when I received the, the cap, there was a small card saying, could you please take a picture and send it to me? Okay. When she received that picture, mm. she said, oh my God, you look so much as my friend John. Mm. And she posted it on Instagram. Right. And Julian, John Lennon's son, said, oh my God, I love him. He looks like my dad. My dad. So, he started following me and I couldn't believe it mm. because his son is following me. Well, um, but what was the, it like, uh, Javier, meeting the Lennon family? Uh, uh, the, the, the friends and relatives, it, it was um, a dream come true for me. I never imagined, in a way, stay there and having breakfast, having lunch with them. Um, they saw an artist, not a crazy man, a word, who want to be John Lennon. Mm. Because I love John. I, I've got passion doing what I do. So, and they seen that on me. He's an artist, he's recreating John on films. I, I, I was working on a film in Argentina. Mm. It's a, a comedy, it's gonna be released in October this year. Mm. An hilarious comedy. And I was working on documentaries and so, I'm an actor as well. I'm not just a singer, a singer. a musician. So that's that's good and I love it and the feedback from the people is beautiful. I receive love. You see a lot of love, not only from John Lennon fans, but from Beatles fans yeah. all over the world. All over the world. I mean, you're here in the Philippines. Where else have you been uh, impersonating John Lennon? Which other countries? Which, oh, okay. I, I'm, after the Philippines, I'm going to Argentina, then Chile, uh -huh. then Mexico, 
Finland, the UK, and Spain, so many countries. So I'm going to see my family in November. Yes. Yes, because I will be touring the world. And it's beautiful, it's my first time in the Philippines, oh. and I'm so happy, so excited to be First to be here. time in first the Philippines, time. what are your impressions so far oh. of the Philippines? It's, it's very hot. <laughs> and, and it's been raining so hard. Yes, on the traffic jam. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We yes. almost didn't quite make it to the show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, and the people, the people. I receive love from social media. Mm. And that's beautiful. The new generations, um, the old generations. So I, I hope to see them in my concerts. And we're going to have a great time remembering uh, John Lennon music, Beatles yes. music. And of course, you're here in the Philippines for several performances. What can your Filipino fans expect from your performances? What kind of songs, what kind of John Lennon and Beatles songs will you be singing for your Filipino fans? Yeah, I'm going to be singing songs from the Beatles, the early days, mm. psychedelic, upper roof, and from John, uh, solo career so i'm going to be singing song from double fantasy album so it's john remembering the old days like paul mccartney nowadays sings the old songs with the beatles and the new one well i'm going to sing the old song with the beatles and, and well the last uh, double fantasy record wow everyone will be uh, really in for a uh, great ride with uh, Javier Parisi as uh, John Lennon's impersonator. And you won't only be performing, Javier, here in Manila. Where, yeah. will you else, where else will you be performing uh, around the country? Yeah, I'm going to be on July 15th at mm. Music Museum. All right. On July 19th at Bar 9, Molito, Alabang. On July 22nd, Casino Filipino, Cagayan Valley. Oh, wow. On July 25th, Glorious Fantasyland, Dapitan City. July 27th, Hard Rock Cafe Manila, Conrad Hotel. And July 30th, Casino Filipino, Angela City, Century Hotel in Angela City. Wow, oh you will be God. moving across yes. the country. Yes, I I'm mean, going to be playing with a local band. Mm. That's, that's wonderful. I love playing with local musicians everywhere I go. So that's, that's good because they put their <laughs> style, they, yes, I love that. Wow, love you will that. be here from July 15 all the way up until maybe the first week uh, of August. Exactly. You will be seeing the Philippines, the beauty of the Philippines. Yeah. I mean, over the next two and a half weeks, what would you like to see in the country? What kind of food would you like to eat? Would you like to taste Filipino food? Yes, I, I, well, rice, you've got rice. Yes, and it's a main staple fishes, of every dish. Fishes, yeah. yes, and beaches. You know, the sun, the sea, um, the sun um, is, is cloudy. Well, you'll, you know, have, you'll have some breaks in between. So you can, yeah. you can visit uh, the beaches of Boracay, uh -huh. uh, Palawan, Dakak. Bohol, Dakak, Dakak. Yes. Yeah. Batangas. We have so many beautiful beaches, which are some of the best in the world, Javier. I want to buy a house here. I want to buh a house here. I always stay here, here. <laughs> yes. yes. What about Argentina? Does it also have a lot of beautiful beaches? It's like a day and a half to travel to Argentina. Uh -huh. I mean, for Filipinos who are thinking of going to South America, what can they see in Argentina? In Argentina, well, the glaciers, mm. in the Patagonia, south of Argentina. Uh, we've got falls in the north of Argentina. Mm. Uh, we've got mountains and we've got uh, grapevines. We've got everything. And we've wow. got, uh, as you said, uh, the beaches, but it's cold. And of uh, course, you have uh, two of the most famous football legends, Maradona and Lionel Messi. Messi, both. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's get back to the Beatles. Yeah. What are your top three Beatles songs Beatles. from the different uh, eras? Okay. Um, well, I'm going to tell you A Hard Day's Night. It was the Hard first night, song yeah. I heard from the Beatles. Um, Psychedelic, um, Strawberry Fields Forever. Uh -huh. um, Apple Roof, Don't Let Me Down. Did you really study his every move and even his voice? Yes, yes. Um, because I have to move the, the, the mannerism as John. Yes. Because this is... John, but this is me, so mm. I got to move this this way, the chewing gun and, and everything, and <laughs> the movement of his head, his shoulder. So, and I love doing this, it's amazing. And amazing. I love meeting people, meeting countries, cultures, 
staying here, meeting you, it's always wonderful for me. Muchas gracias, oh, Javier Parisi. Salama po. All right, thank you so much for joining us on The Final Word. Imagine the Beatles' legacy, John Lennon's most popular global impersonator, Javier Parisi. Thank you very much. Thank you.